If this is not Eagle Rare, this could be a great alternative to Eagle Rare. As you know, you can see what's in the box. I can't. I get to drink it, tell you my true opinion of it, and then you guys get to make fun of me while you're watching. And at the end, I'll reveal it to myself and we can all laugh together. Or we can be like, wow, she nailed that one. Sometimes that happens too. Ah, got hair in my eyes. Anyhow, thank you for being here. Now let's dive in and figure out what's in this box. Cheers to you. Thank you for watching. Now let's do this. Like right away, it doesn't look light. It doesn't look extremely dark. That's a plus. Sometimes these look like pee water and I'm like, oh, I can't drink that. I don't wanna drink that. But this, it looks fine. That could mean something or it could mean nothing. Here we go, let's smell it. Ah, it smells good to me. It kinda smells like MGP actually. It smells like sweet, vanilla, caramel. I can tell you that every time. I'm like sweet, vanilla, caramel. It smells like a bourbon. Smells like a bourbon that has not a ton of proof on it. It doesn't burn the nose hairs, if that's what you're thinking. No nose hairs are burning. It does, it, it smells like it has a slight fruit note in it, like a plum maybe, or maybe a cherry, but overall it smells like a good classic bourbon. Whoa, I just got this like milk chocolate note on the nose. Like a chocolate covered like cherry, maybe an orange. Doesn't smell pastry, doesn't smell youthful. It smells good. Overall, the nose is good. I like the nose. Now let's taste it. It's good. You know what this reminds me of when I'm tasting this? It reminds me of Eagle Rare because I just got this like grape note right in the middle of the palate. One more sip here. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Eagle Rare. That's so weird. Or like some, it definitely has a, like a light amount of oakiness to it. Vanilla, but cherry and grape. It really does remind me of Eagle Rare. Let me take another sip of this. Definitely under a hundred proof. Yeah, maybe it's right at a hundred. I like this, it's not nutty at all. It's sweet and fruity with a light amount of oak to it. It definitely reminds me of Eagle Rare. So if this is not Eagle Rare, this could be a great alternative to Eagle Rare because I actually really like this. I like it, I'd buy it, I'd drink it. I just like the fruity notes in this. Like this is really good. It's not overly sweet, but it has enough like a little bit of like spice in the back end to hold it together and has enough proof to hold it together and age. It's good, it's good. I like it, I'd buy it, I'd recommend it. Now let's figure out how bad I am at this. Here we go. I was going all in. I was like full send on the Eagle Rare. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh! Wait, Buffalo Trace. I'm pretty sure this is Buffalo Trace. I'm pretty sure John J. Bowman is Buffalo Trace. This is the John J. Bowman single barrel. 100 proof. I said it was under 100 proof, but it tastes like 100 proof. Uh, Yeah, wow, this is really good. 100 proof. Virginia Straight Bourbon Whiskey John J. Bowman. Is this, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is Buffalo Trace. This is definitely Buffalo Trace. Oh my gosh, it remind. I thought this was Eagle Rare. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. That is really good. I like it. I really like it. It's really good. I really thought that was Buffalo, Tr I mean, I thought that was Eagle Rare. Oh wow. Oh, well. I don't feel so bad about full sending on the Eagle Rare because this is fantastic. Thank you so much to patron Aaron for sending this to us. This is really good. I actually, I like this way more than that small batch. I'd have to try them side by side, but now I understand why people are like, John J. Bowman single barrels are where it's at because it's good. So, wow. That's another episode of What's in the Box. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time.